is so much going on. But I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. Jordan. Jordan? I have nothing to say to you. Listen, I know we're not the best of friends, and I know we have issues, and you don't like me. All you do on the internet is talk about me. You're miserable, and you have no life. But I'm, I'm here to, like, try to make, I guess, make things work. Can you just leave me out of your messy Mondays? I brought you something. I brought your fave. So Jordan, open the door. Let's talk about this. I'm so fed up with this bullshit. I understand, well look, I'm gonna leave this on the counter. If you want it, you can have it, okay? Sorry, Jordan. Jesus. First on the dock and then I'ma talk shit, got my sugar honey iced tea. Do you wanna sell now, period? I said what I said, now move along, bitch, before you get red. P.O.P., you can't stick with me. Come on, girls, let's get it. Hey creeps, and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are P.O.P. And that is pretty on purpose. Hi, oh, Lord. Okay, y'all, as y'all can see earlier, I tried to make ends meet with Jordan B. I guess she was not trying to talk about the situation. So, I mean, it is what it is. Let me just tell you why I tried to sit and speak to her. But before I get on that, I want to talk on another bald-headed, yuck mouth, dirty, dry lips, stinking, white tongue bitch that had something to say. Because, girl, first of all, Miss Thing, if I don't speak to you, don't address me, ho. Bitch, I'm going to resend the letter back to your house. Return to sender, bitch. Okay, so there was a person who was in the comments right here. Bitch, you thought you ate. Give me a plate, ho. Now, it didn't surprise me that the person's profile picture was a Nicki Minaj picture. Now, it's always a Nicki Minaj fan that has something to say about me. Now, I'm not saying all of y'all, just the bottom of the barrel ones. And every fan base has a bottom of the barrel. Cardi B, Rihanna, everybody has a bottom of the barrel fan because they sneak in and we don't know they there. So us real fans can't kick them out. And this is the bottom of the barrel bitch right here. So anyway, this little roach face helper said, Oh, she is not wrong. Zoe is like 30 going on 31. Talking about 16 and 17 year olds. First of all, bitch, let's get this together, okay? If your dusty ass will look at all of my messy Mondays, Miss Mama, you will understand that the people pictures pop up right here and right here. And it has their age. And if anybody's really smart, it's never been nobody under 20. Because I don't do that on my show. It's always 20 and up, little ugly. And if, and on the if, which it never really is, a 18 might get on there. But we always go 20 and up because we don't want to bring people, children, into mess, okay? Let's remember that. And if they're 30 and up, they don't have the age on their card. Then she gonna say, oh, he's too old to be, he's too old to be talking about somebody man who's 20. Bitch, Gucci is in a beef with young boy. Lil Dirt is in a beef with young boy. Boosie is in a beef with young boy. Cause the young nigga said what he had to say. So now you gotta deal with what you gotta deal with. Period. And if you a celebrity and your shit is on social media, we gonna talk about it. Period, and it is what it is, girl. If you don't like it, don't watch it. And I said what I said. Then we closed on off for Jordan B who had that raggedy ass bob weave she had on her head the other day. We ain't gonna talk about it because we don't want her to cry. But, girl, you can't sue for defamation, honey. Any and everything that goes on Messy Monday, I will, and I repeat, I only will Talk about what you, yourself, post on Twitter, Instagram, 
YouTube video or an interview. I will never go off what a he say, she say, friend say, come to me, secret say. I will never do that. I make sure I speak on what you have given to the public yourself. The P, you said it. The abuse, you said it. The fight, you did it. Everything you have said and post yourself, which gives people the opportunity to voice their opinions, which is what I do on Messy Monday. I voice my opinions or I also give comedic jokes that I think the fans will relate to or get out of the situation. But as far as just sitting here bashing somebody or just a whole video talking about one person to make people not like somebody, I have never and will never do that on my shows or on my YouTube channel because that is not what I do. Messy Mondays for jokes, kikis, and cackles for us to sit around like you do at a family dinner and talk about the gossip. That is what Messy Monday is. That's what it's always going to be and it will never be used for anything else to just downgrade, talk about, or make people attack a person. Nice try, but it ain't going to work. Let's keep it moving. Okay, so now that we got them cotton mouth white tone bitches out of the way, let's go on and get into y'all's favorite part of the show, and that is the shit, the sugar honey iced tea, because you girls love staying in some shit. First with sugar honey iced tea, we have Crystal and Jack. Let me go on and tell y'all, I'm gonna keep this stuff short today because look, I'm already pissed. I don't have my car back from this dealership. It's going on a month and three weeks. It's almost two months, okay? So I, I'm not mentally here, but I had to do this because I thought a little bobblehead bitch had something to say. So I had to clap back real quick because y'all know I love a little cute cackle. But all right, Crystal and Jazz. Now last week, we just told y'all these two broke up. Crystal came on the internet talking all this shit, just woofing like a little chihuahua. <laughs> just talking, talking, talking. I'm like, girl, you tell us don't get in your business, but then you come on the internet and you tell us all your business. Which one do you want? Do you want us not talk about it or do you want us to talk about it? We need to know, okay? So anyway, she said she was looking for a real man. She was tired of it, whoop, 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 yada, 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 and all of this. So child, she come back after doing all of that. And she said, yeah, I went back to my man. I'm like, oh damn, bitch. Polo G took you back? <laughs> I'm convinced. I said, Polo G, I thought he was looking at the other. You know, I don't know. That's how they do out here in these streets. So, child, I kept reading, and it said, this is what happens when you date the same sign as you. She said, we are both emotional. We're both girls, but I don't care. This is my bitch. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. <laughs> I thought you said you went back to your man. <laughs> First she a man, then she a girl. What the it? Do you even know who you dating at this point? Because I don't think you even know. You know what, see? I'm going to hush. I'm going to hush. You know what? I don't know. Let me come with you. I ain't trying to come. I ain't trying to figure it out. Well, she... Jazz has changed my outlook on life. She makes me want to change a lot of things about myself, my toxic ways, and I can honestly say when I'm around her, I feel more relaxed, woo 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 woo. But if you knew all that and that's what she did, then why did she get on the internet and say all this other extra stuff? That just don't make no sense to me. I'm just, you know what, at this point, I'm tired of trying to figure out, you know, ain't none of my business. It's just funny, because Jazz don't ever say anything. I don't ever hear Jazz fuss, fight, argue, say nothing, and it just be, she just be all out in the open. Like, if Crystal just sat back and be quiet sometimes, maybe they could work on what they need to work on, but she be so quick to run to us and tell us everything. I bet Jazz is probably like, ooh, thank God she gone. <laughs> and then, here she come, shriggling back. <laughs> and Jazz is like, God damn it. <laughs> Jazz should have said, well, good. <laughs> well, 
probably already stressed out. Can't put out no YouTube video. <laughs> Jay, Jay's like, damn, I done helped you with your company. I helped you, Jay. What are you doing for me besides selling everybody in my business? Who you done put all your toxicity on me and now you good. <laughs> Jay, you better go. <laughs> you better go. Oh, anyway, I'm hot. Oh, her shit, her shit coming over here. Let me hurry up this conversation. Well, <laughs> if, it ain't about, if it ain't about me, she ain't gonna get me with her toxicity. Next case. Next with Shigani Ice Tea, we have NBA Youngboy versus Gucci and Lil Boo. Well, child, as you already know, Top came and demolished everybody. He came out with his guns out, and it was just havoc after that. And, you know, everybody started responding, said what they had to say. Dirk made his little diss track. Woo, 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 woo. Well, child, Gucci finally made his, honey. And it's what it sounds like. We about to pull no publicity stunt. Now we about to pull no publicity stunt. Why you just me for publicity? You in the streets or in the street? Is you my fan or my enemy, nigga? My After Gucci made his diss track, it, 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 it wasn't bad, but it was just not what I thought it was gonna get. Cause you know, I love Gucci. I'm from Atlanta, East Atlanta all day. So I'm just like, you know, I fucked some Gucci, but it just didn't get what top game. So anyway, all of a sudden, here come a little dirt. Mind you, she just said she went in no mess, with no mess, this is that, woo woo woo. But then you come back and you get in mess. Like, girl, what are you gonna do, sis? Do you wanna fight or you don't wanna fight? What's going on, okay? I understand y'all in the streets and the cops might be watching feds, you can incriminate yourself, but honey, if you trying to stay lay low, you better lay low. Stay low, okay? Like, hush. Anyway, she came out, she said, eh, eh. I said, sis, <laughs> I know the fuck you did. This no, Dirk. Who the fuck? Bitch, I ain't heard that since the playground. <laughs> anyway, well, Gucci came out with that. It was left alone, but I'm more like Gucci though. The man said he used to fuck with you. And when he said he used to fuck with you, he stopped because you started hanging out with the ops. The fuck with Gucci till I sing, he like the fuck. And that just makes sense. It's fact. Like, hey, I ain't got nothing wrong with you, but I just don't fuck with you no more because you hang out with the folks who ain't fucking with me. That's real nigga shit if we gonna go by the street code. So why is you mad for him saying some real shit in his rap? Anyway, so Boosie heard what he said. Boosie came back out with his little piece. Yeah. If you feel that way, why you ain't call me on my phone? No, bitch, you know you wrong. Cleaning out these niggas' songs. I won't clear a nigga's song, but thinking like you a nigga dog in this bitch. Don't speak on me no more, nigga. You know that I don't go for it. Just keep it real, dog. You was a hoax. Now, Boosie did say he ain't got no problem with him, but he said he just wished the man would have called him, whatever the case may be. Whoop, 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 stop. I don't know, child. It's just a whole lot, a whole lot. I'm glad ain't nobody hurting each other right now. I hope they stay like that and we keep it like that. But, you know how the girls get. Well, if it ain't about me, let's be key next. Okay. Next for the Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Emily Chopper and Marissa. Now, this is actually really sad and it just hurts because this girl really do want to have a family. Seven wasn't where he was, was supposed to be. Weight wise, like the weight and um, they said um, he was probably sick, you know, um, determining his weight. Until that fat lady seen go and I ain't really count no nothing out, so I ain't want to come to that conclusion. But um, yeah. Um, so they did a vaginal ultrasound and um. A regular ultrasound and they couldn't find his heartbeat at all and so um I had to proceed with doing the rest of what I needed to do um so we had lost him yeah but uh, what I always tell people, things happen for a reason. And, you know, maybe you're not mentally ready or physically ready or it's just things that God is keeping you from. You have to look at it like that. So don't take this as like, why me? Or I can't believe this or, you know, get into a depression stage, which I'm sure it can happen because, you know, this is something serious. But just 
sometimes just maybe you need to reflect on you and yourself and your life. And I don't know, maybe you are doing that. I just wish you the best. There was a lot of mixed things that were going on in the comments, saying some things on how they felt about Miss Mamas and her pregnancies. So I ain't gonna say nothing. I don't need karma knocking on my door. I'm not bullshit. Mm mm. But you know, God knows all. So all right. Well. Ain't about me. Let's get key next case. Well, that's all I got for the Shagani Ice Tea. Let's get into this mess. First of all, okay, we have Eric Banks and Baby Tate versus Nicki Minaj. So Baby Tate had took to her Twitter and she was asking her supporters who they feel should be on her song. And one of her supporters said, hey, send it to Nicki. You never know what could happen. So she then responded with, hey, Nicki has still never responded to my DMs from years ago of me giving her love and her flowers. And then not only that, having the number one viewed video of her challenge, right? Child, the girls took that the wrong way and it just blew up. Now see, I get what she's saying, you know what I'm saying? I have a certain somebody that I love dearly who I have DM and DM. They used to do so many videos on Vine and other stuff and I was just like, I never get recognized. But I don't give a fuck. I'm a still motherfucking ride. I don't care if bitch, I don't give a shit. That's my bitch. I'm a ride. I'm a do whatever. I'm like, oh, she following everybody else. And they make one fucking video. She be fucking with all these other people. And they just, and then next week after she followed them and fucked them, they say, oh, this is my favorite. I can't believe. No, bitch. She my only motherfucking favorite. I fucking love her. And honey, my time gonna come. And I don't care. And I get what that girl was saying. It's just like, ugh, everybody else. I be just, I'm a real supporter. So I got that part. She just was getting discouraged. She was getting hurt sending messages over and over and over. When you know that this person has seen you. You know what I'm saying? I think that's all she's saying. Like, the person has seen me. I know they have, but they said nothing. Anyway, it just went. Erica Banks came out. She understood what the girl was saying, and people just, you child, you know, Erica Banks already walking on thin ice with Meg's people because they think all what they think, and then, honey, they came at Erica, and this is what Erica had to say. Okay, I want to get on here and address the Nicki Minaj situation because it's becoming misunderstood and misconstrued. And people are even thinking I went so far as to unfollow Nicki Minaj. And I need to clear this up because this is my fave artist. So I have a lot of respect for her, enough to even get on here and just clear this up because I don't need this narrative being painted of me. So first of all, I never unfollowed Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj blocked me, y'all. Yesterday, y'all blocked me. I'm talking about I'm in shambles. Like, what is going on? Like, why is this happening? I'm serious. Like, I'm being real with y'all. I'm having a real moment right now, like a real fan moment. I cannot believe it. And I meant no harm by what I said. You know, if you know, you know. If you don't, whatever. I made a comment on a post that I agree with, and I was coming from a fan's point of view. And I want to explain that because a lot of y'all are getting it misunderstood and thinking that the whole thing is about a feature. The thing is not about a feature. Okay, it's deeper than that. It's about the love that we fans have for Nicki Minaj because when we're talking about our idol or somebody that we look up to or somebody that we've been looking up to since we were young or since we were kids, it hits a, a deep spot in our heart when we felt like, damn, why haven't we worked with Nicki Minaj? Like, why haven't we got in, you know, why, why haven't we put something together? Like, yeah, we love each other and she shows us massive love and we appreciate it to the fullest. Don't ever underestimate me of anybody for appreciating the support that Nicki Minaj gives me because she's been supporting me for the past year. If it was about a feature, I wouldn't even be worried about following or, or showing love or any of that. I have continued to do that because it's genuine and that is where my heart is at with Nicki Minaj. This is just all blown out of proportion. I feel the commentators spun it into something that it really wasn't. So yeah, well, I hope the girls figure it all out. Just keep working, keep grinding, do you, and have fun. If it ain't about me, let's keep keep next case. Next one, okay? We have Soulja Boy versus Akbar. <laughs> now this was just crazy because y'all should have known Soulja Boy was gonna act up. So, 
Akbar came out with a remix to uh, Amaretta's song, Sorry Not Sorry, and this is what hers had to say. To this day, Soulja Boy never grew up in the A, but the dance is so hard, we let him come stay. All that JD and Luda have done for Atlanta. I well, baby, DeAndre Wade did not feel that, because everybody know he loved to claim Atlanta, honey, even though he was, you know, from the outskirts, but it's okay. He could claim Atlanta because he moved up here and he came to the east side. I think that's where he was, east side, but it's, I don't think he was on the east side. That was part of Atlanta. Anyway, that ain't none of my business. All right. So he heard what she said. He heard what she said, and this is what he had to say to her. Um, Akbar, could you sit your nipple head ass down somewhere? Not he said nipple head ass. <laughs> your fat head ass, stupid head ass. Go, girl, that's Atlanta all day. What you talking about, Soldier Boy? Ain't grew up in the A. You don't know me, you don't know about me. You fat head, limp head, wop head, wobble head. You. So, child, I don't know. Soldier Boy from everywhere, from what he talking about. She's talking about this Simpson Rose on one west side on my mama. She came in and she said, Well, Simpson Rose, I need somebody to vouch for this because he out here saying he from there. Does anybody want to speak up? Listen, bro, I'm done with this whole conversation. You feel me? <laughs> Shout out to Akbar. That's the end of it. You feel me? I'm from Chicago, Atlanta, Bompton. So, child, I don't know. Mm, so. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Oh, Miranda, look what you done started. <laughs> she done got everybody fussing with everybody. And they know, at this point, Atlanta ain't from Atlanta. <laughs> she, we don't even own Atlanta. Fuck. All right, what? If it ain't about me, let's be kidding. Okay. Next one, okay? We have Kodak Black versus T.I. Now, this was just out of nowhere, and it's, it was very much unexpected. Kodak Black had went on The Breakfast Club, and he hit a freestyle, and this is what he had to say. I, at the moment, I say, Black Lives Matter, what's up, my mother? Shit, ain't nobody care when I was going through my And Trump free more than Obama did. If I had the chance, I'd let that boy again. Stupid ass don't want to sit down with a man, so how you finna execute your plan, dummy? Trying to play me out my money, made a general statement. I was speaking in third person. They tried to twist Hurtman, snatching out food from a table. Big boy and T.I. tried to get him kicked up off the label. That I'm saying. Oh, they got, you said T.I. tried to get you. Hold on, wait a minute. There's a lot in there, though. Now, Kodak said a whole lot, a whole lot of. And to me, you know, I, I get what he's saying with his, you know, Obama and Trump situation and why he did what he did and why he support what he support. Boop, boop, boop. That's on him. You can agree, disagree. But with the T.I. situation, I feel in the rap, it kind of sounds like he heard this from somebody else. It's just my opinion. He heard it from somebody else that T.I. and Big Boy tried to do this. But that person who he heard it from might have got the situation misunderstood or got some words twisted up. And the truth might have just been, and it might have been gossip. And now that you don't put it in your rap, it came back to T.I. And this is what T.I. had to say. Yep, 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 yep. Top of the top, man. Still morning where I'm at, man. Uh, happened to, man, happened to scroll down, man, and see uh, young brother Kodak kicking the freestyle on the Breakfast Club. Mentioned my name. Said something about me and Big Boy tried to get him kicked off a label. Mm. Um... You know, whenever I hear my name associated, it's true. I just try and got you know, I try my best to at least for initially when I hear it to clear that up. Man, I ain't never wasting my time, energy, or oxygen trying to worry about you or nobody else and what motherfucker label they were saying to. Nah, that ain't high. Now, child, let me tell you something. One thing T.I. gonna do. <laughs> He's clear the air, bitch. He is going to walk and talk and <laughs> clear the air. When I see a video and we looking up T.I.'s nose, I know what the fuck going on. <laughs> he about to cheat. <laughs> he, he about to clear that name, bitch. But um, it seems as though maybe Kodak might have got gossip and he ran with it and it's not true instead of, you know, just talking to guys. But everybody know Kodak Black don't give a fuck about shit. He going to say what the fuck he want to say and then, bitch, it is what it is. So I'm just glad. I hope the two can figure out what happened, where it came from, and who said what, and they can get it fixed. Because I like both of them. They actually are both really good artists. So anyway, T.I. will, he, he, he will come expeditiously and get shit under control. <laughs> oh 
right, champ. Well, if it ain't about me, let's keep keeping it. Okay. Okay, y'all, I told y'all that's all I got for Mr. Monday. I just wanted to come and hang you out a little light, light, little cackle time because, bitch, yeah, I want my motherfucking car. And I'm calling these people all day today. And if I couldn't be sitting here editing Mr. Monday all day. I need my car and I need it now. So, um, yeah, and no, I ain't gonna buy no damn rental cars or none of that shit. Cause no, I get my fucking car and I had enough rental cars. Like I always say, send a message to Twitter or my Instagram. I will check it the day of Misty Monday and I put it on there. If you don't send it, I ain't talking about it. But until then, God only made one you. If you don't be you, then nobody else will. Stay messy. Next case. Oh shit. Whole lot of going on, it's a whole lot of, whole lot of going on, it's a whole lot of, whole lot of going on.